for these tufts only go up about halfway up on the ear. So they're going to go about right there. I like to grab the whole tuft and kind of move the ear out of the way and hold the tuft and then trim it right there. But I like to do a little bit like move the scissors around because you still want it to be a little natural. Something I like to do too is wedge my ears like this and I'll pull the hair forward and take a little bit off in, at an angle like this. So I'm kind of following that same line of the ear. Yeah, so the tufts are pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. I think that's where most people mess up on the ears. They leave these big tufts that are in front of the ear and on the back and all over. And sometimes I even see them leaving a lot of hair like all the way across. And I mean, we could probably even take a little bit more off of these, to be honest. Something you can do um, if I have the lead on my dog, it will help hold the ear up. And then you can even set it at an angle like this inside the ear, but you have to be careful, obviously, that the dog doesn't flick their ear right into the scissors. That's why if you have the lead on, it does help hold those ears in place. And you can just kind of set your scissors to where that shave spot is and then just clean up anything that's sticking out.